Well, that announcement expected tomorrow, but at KPX 5's Wilson Walker reports the scientific community, well, they're already buzzing. Two, one, shot. And of course, what Fusion offers, right, the, the thing that most people are most excited about is this possibility of clean energy. If fusion is the energy holy grail, Lawrence Livermore appears to have taken a step towards it. Um, they use this large laser called the National Ignition Facility to create a system that produced energy by thermonuclear fusion faster than it lost it. So when you take all of the energy that they put into this system, they exceeded that by a significant margin. I'm going to leave it to them to tell you what that what that margin was that they exceeded it by. UC Berkeley's Lee Bernstein knows some of those involved with the project, and he says the breakthrough goes beyond the energy possibilities. For example, the plasma that's created is not unlike the core of a star. This is a reproducible platform to let us study the way that elements and energy are evolved in stars and in stellar interiors. So for nuclear astrophysics, this is a really big development as well. And I think that, you know, I know it's not the one that everybody is super interested in, but it does have this angle as well. More practical applications like power are years or decades down the road. You're going to have to bring the engineers in, and they're going to need to say, how do we make something like this work in the form of a power plant? But the science of fusion is moving ahead and is picking up speed. So what will happen in another year? or 15 months, I don't know. No doubt a lot of questions for the team that has achieved this, and that will begin with a press conference tomorrow. We are here in Berkeley, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.